वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल टुडे टॉपिक इज एस पी थ्री हाइब्रिडाइजेशन इन अल्किस एस पी टू हाइब्रिडाइजेशन इन अल्किस इन लास्ट वीडियो लेक्चर वी हैड सीन क्लासिफिकेशन नॉमिन ग्लेचर एंड आइसोमेरिजम इन ऑर्गेनिक कंपाउंड लेटेस्ट सी नेक्स्ट चैप्टर अल्केस अल्किस एंड कॉन्जुगेटेड डाइन्स द चैप्टर कंटेन्स एस पी हाइब्रिडाइजेशन इन अल्केस हेलोजेनेशन ऑफ अल्किस यूजेस ऑफ पैराफिन्स स्टेबिलिटीज ऑफ अल्किस एस पी हाइब्रिडाइजेशन इन अल्किस एंड इवन ई टू रिएक्शन लेटेस्ट सी वन बाय वन फर्स्ट एस पी थ्री हाइब्रिडाइजेशन एंड शेप्स ऑफ अल्किस फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वट डू मीन बाय हाइब्रिडाइजेशन हाइब्रिडाइजेशन मीन्स मिक्सिंग ऑफ एटोमिक आर्बाइटल्स इन टू न्यू आर्बाइटल्स विच आर सुटेबल फॉर पेयरिंग ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन्स टू फॉर्म द केमिकल बॉन्ड इन वैलेंस बॉन्ड थेरी सो वी नो ऑल अबाउट द कार्बन एटम्स फॉर्म्स फोर इक्विवेलेंट बॉन्ड्स बिकॉज ऑफ हाइब्रिडाइजेशन ऑफ इट्स वैलेंस और बैटल्स एंड धीस कैन एक्सप्लेन द शेप्स ऑफ ऑर्गेनिक मॉलिक्यूल्स सो कार्बन एटम्स इन अल्किस इन्वॉल्व एस पी थ्री हाइब्रिडाइजेशन वेन बॉन्ड्स आर फॉर्म्ड एनर्जी इज रिलीज एंड सिस्टम बिकम्स मोर स्टेबल एज वी सी इन ग्राउंड स्टेट देर आर ओनली टू इलेक्ट्रॉन्स इन द पाय और बैटल बट वेन इट गोज फ्रॉम ग्राउंड स्टेट टू एक्साइटेड स्टेट देर देर आर द फोर इलेक्ट्रॉन्स विच आर अनपेयर्ड एंड सो दे आर रेडी फॉर बॉन्डिंग ओके एंड वेन दीज टू इलेक्ट्रॉन्स Uh, are formed the less in amount of energy is released but when four electrons are formed which are unpaired much more energy is released and so the system becomes more stable okay so there is a very small energy gap between 2s and 2p orbital so these when when the electron goes from the 2s orbital to the empty 2p orbital the there are the four electrons which are unpaired and so these four unpaired electrons where when reorganizes into four identical hybrid orbitals these are called as the sp3 hybrids why because they are made up of one s orbital and three p orbitals which are combinedly called as the sp3 hybrid orbitals and these hybrid orbitals arrange themselves in space so that they are as far as part possible okay when we, you can see the picture in picture there is a nucleus which as being at the center okay and pointing the orbitals to the corners and this is a tetrahedron arrangement with the angle 109.5 degree let us see hybridization in ethane molecule so each carbon atom in the ethane promotes an electron and forms sp3 hybrids exactly as we have described in methane so just before bonding atoms looks like this these are the s orbital of hydrogen atoms and these are the pi orbitals of carbon atoms okay when two atomic orbitals overlap with other atomic orbitals there are the formation of the molecular orbital like this so these are the molecular orbital of the two atomic orbitals when overlap with the other two atomic orbitals okay so one of the one of the four sp3 hybrid orbital of one carbon atom overlap with the other similar orbital of carbon atom to form the carbon carbon sigma bond and remaining three sp3 hybrid orbitals overlap with the one s orbital of hydrogen atom and there is a formation of ch sigma bonds as shown in the figure 
Thus, in ethane molecule, there is a formation of 109.5 degree bond angle, okay, and bond length between the carbon-carbon bond is 105.54 picometer, and uh, bond length between the carbon and hydrogen bond is 109 picometer, okay. Next. sp2 hybridization and shapes of alkenes alkenes are planar molecules and the carbon atoms of the carbon carbon double bond involve sp2 hybridization carbon atoms has four unpaired electrons in the excited state as we have described in the methane and ethane molecules the three hybrid orbitals that is from 2s and 2p hybrid orbitals get hybridized okay to form the 3 sp2 hybrid orbitals leaving the 2pz unhybridized orbital for example in case of the ethylene one sp2 hybrid orbital of one carbon atom overlap with the other sp2 hybrid orbital of other carbon atom forming carbon carbon sigma bond while other two sp2 hybrid orbitals are both the carbon atoms overlap with the 1s uh, orbital of hydrogen atoms forming the ch sigma bonds okay and the unhybridized 2p orbital of one carbon atom that overlap with the another unhybridized 2p orbital of other carbon atom to form the pi bonds okay sigma bonds are stronger than the pi bonds because of because during the formation of the uh, sigma bond the overlapping of orbitals takes place to a larger extent in ethylene the 2p unhybridized orbitals participating in the pi bond are parallel to each other for the proper sidewise overlap of the of these two p orbitals all the atoms in the ethylene molecule must be in the same plane thus the formation of the pi bond restricts the molecule into the planar shape there there is thus the ethylene is a flat or planar molecule Okay, understood? Thank you.